Hi, Jackie Van Ruler here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what you can do if you have swelling in your feet, ankles, and legs. So this might be a condition that you um, you have occasionally. It might be something that you have consistently. You might have something called lipedema, which is where you have like um, little fat nodules or particles that are like kind of stuck between um, connective tissue, and they cause some swelling and stuff like that in your legs and feet. So it's actually getting to be a pretty common issue. And you may see people that have kind of like bulkier um, or more puffy feet or ankles, and that can be um, lip edema. So this um, protocol will help with any of those issues. Even if you just tend to get swelling when you go, when you fly, or you're driving long distances or sitting for long periods of time, this can be a great um, protocol to use. One of the things that can cause some swelling in your feet and ankles or anywhere in your body is when your body has is producing too much histamine. So you need some histamine to do things like produce stomach acid and other things like that within your body. But if your body is producing too much or your body is not able to break it down, then it can cause issues with leaking from your blood vessels. It can also cause issues like leaky gut and it can cause issues with like your sinuses and post nasal drip and things like that as well. So anytime you have those larger, um, larger like breaks in your um, blood vessels or your in your nose or sinuses or things like that, that can cause some leaking like that. And so that's usually a histamine response. So we're gonna be working a little bit with the histamine response. We're gonna be working with the spleen to strengthen your blood vessels. That's one of its um, really important functions. We're gonna be working with the kidneys to regulate um, water. The water, you know, the water regulation within your body. And then um, we we'll are doing some points for um, the urine, the bladder and things like that to, to reduce water and get rid of excess water in your body. And then we'll also be working with the calves and the whole legs and sending energy up your legs and kind of getting that extra pumping motion going from your feet all the way up your legs to kind of um, clear out that water. So we'll start with our kidney points. So find the corners of your mouth Go all the way up to your forehead and then come down. Find the spot that your fingers kind of fit into. And those will be your kidney areas. If you're not sure where they are, just work a larger area around there. It is pretty close to the hairline, so a lot of people will come way down here. But it's actually really close to the hairline. If you don't have your magic wand or you don't have it yet, you can use your fingertips. Or you could grab the end of a pen like this and work with that. You're not going to feel it as much as you're gonna feel it with the magic wand. And that's because the magic wand is weighted. It is designed to get, feel and get right into those reflex points. So I'm coming in here on the right side of my kidney point. I'm feeling a little bit of restriction. And anytime you feel restriction or tenderness or pain or anything in that area, that's just telling you where you're carrying stress. So I'm feeling a tiny bit, but not much, and it feels, to, it feels like it's already cleared out. So I'm gonna to go to the left-hand side and work the left kidney point. And here I'm feeling more of a restriction and it's just a little bit tender. So I'm gonna work it a little bit longer. So if I'm working a little longer, I'm gonna do about 10 to 15 seconds, no longer than 20 seconds. Okay. The next point I'm gonna come is just on the left-hand side. It's halfway between the brow and the forehead and about two thirds of the way back on the brow. This is the point for the spleen. And the spleen is important for strengthening blood vessels and helping to improve, you know, like water, like movement and stuff of blood and, and things like that. So if you have swelling, a lot of times you will have a spleen deficiency as well. I'm really glad we're working the spleen today too because the spleen will also help with chapped lips. And I've been doing a lot of breath work um, specifically through the mouth lately and so my lips have been more chapped. Okay and I did feel some lumpiness and bumpiness in here. Um, if you felt that too just work that a little bit extra. The next areas we're going to work are for the legs and what we want to do is we want to energetically move that energy from the feet all the way up so kind of like we're moving that fluid and encouraging the movement of that fluid upward. So the legs are going to be right on the inner brow. This is going to be the feet, ankles, halfway up will be the knees, and then you get to your thighs and up to the hips. From both sides, we want to start down here where the feet would be. 
And I'm not feeling really any restrictions to movement here. But as I get up to where like the calves would be, that's where I'm feeling a little bit of restriction. So I'm gonna work that a little bit more. And notice what is happening for you. I'm coming up to where the knees are. And then when I'm getting there, I don't feel any restrictions anymore. So I can just work my way up. And I feel a little bit right here as I'm getting to the hips. So I'll just work that. Feeling that resistance and working it out. Anywhere that you have resistance is where you're also carrying resistance or stress in your body. And so we want to work on those areas a little bit more, helping to clear out that resistance and that stress. So anytime you have stress in your body, you also have stress in your life and it prevents you from moving forward in your life. In particularly swelling in the legs emotionally is about um, having old emotions that are slowing you down in your forward progress. Anytime it's water retention or things like that, generally it has to do with your past and, emo and stuck emotions that are kind of keeping you from doing what you want to do. A lot of times it's um, can be toxic situations or toxic feelings or beliefs that you have about yourself. Next point is going to be this area right here on the sides of the nose. And that has to do with the histamine response. So histamine, again, is going to cause gaps within your blood vessels, allowing excess fluid to escape. Um, and the reason that histamine does that is because it actually wants red blood or white blood cells to come in and be able to attack foreign invaders. With your nose and sinuses and things like that, it can be about trying to get out um, toxins or things like that. It can be a fast way for your body to detoxify. But unfortunately, it doesn't feel good. So this is a great spot to work to reduce that histamine response. If you have a lot of histamine responses, sinus issues, allergies, things like that, you might notice that this area is very tender or puffy or red. And if that's the case, then it's just showing you that you need to work that a little bit extra. I don't have much going on, but I would say that this is an area that I can that I find puffiness and stagnation and irritation and bumps and things like that on most of my clients. So if you have that, this might be an area that's worth working on a regular basis. Next, we're gonna to come to the left-hand side. We're gonna work our spleen and stomach. These are areas that have to do with supporting the blood vessels and strengthening them and keeping fluid and blood within the blood vessels. The stomach is also affected by histamine because histamine comes and triggers the release of hydrochloric acid in the stomach. And so we want enough histamine to make enough hydrochloric acid, but not too much to trigger an immune response. Then we're gonna come here and we're gonna work 17 and 38. This is a point for the adrenals and the immune system. And they're also about reducing inflammation. So anytime you have swelling, you do have some inflammation going on. So we definitely want to work that out. Let's notice that I still have a black mark on my finger. I have a wood burning stove in my shop and I was just starting the fire to finish up some work this afternoon, going to go sit in front of a fire and do some reading and catch up on other things. All right, working the other side, we're working the adrenals and the immune system. I'm not feeling much stagnation in there, but if you are coming down with something or getting sick, a lot of times you will notice a, a lot of redness right within this area. If you have adrenal issues, a lot of times you'll have some puffiness and things like that in that area as well. And then we're gonna come down and work right underneath of the mouth. This is a diuretic spot. Works together with the um, urinary system. And it also has to do with the calves. So a lot of times if our calves are tight, it will discourage the upward movement of fluid. It'll actually keep fluid trapped in the feet and ankles. So we wanna work this area to reduce calf tension and also to work as a diuretic point, helping the urinary system to 
get rid of excess fluid. I'm feeling it more on my left than on my right. And then we're gonna come down to the chin. So working in here. And then from here, we're gonna do kind of the same thing we did with the leg zones up here. We're gonna work, this is all feet, calves, knees, and then going up the thighs. We wanna do the same thing where we start at the feet. I'm noticing myself swallowing already, which means that I'm getting rid of some excess fluid, getting that lymphatic system going. Always a good sign. That hair right beside the mouth. Working your way up these smile lines. I'm noticing some stagnation right in here. This is also a liver point. Probably most of you will feel some stagnation in there because our livers have been working really hard. Okay, and I'm gonna do that on the other side. So starting at the bottom. I'm feeling some stuff right in here. I'm hanging out there a little bit longer. Remember, whatever you're feeling, lumpiness, bumpiness, tenderness, those are all just signs of stress in your body. So as we're doing this, we're literally erasing stress. We're letting those things go. We're changing these stress chemicals to the feel-good chemicals in our body that makes everything work better, makes us feel better. Feeling a little bit in here as well, so I'm just gonna hang out there for a second. Noticing that, like I'm actually burping a little bit. That's a means that energy is moving. If you notice that, you might do things like yawn or burp or things like that. Those are all signs of energy movement. So just allow it to happen. Okay, and then finally we're gonna work this point on the under outer corner, and this is for circulation. So this point is the pericardium. The pericardium's job is to give the heart some extra oomph as it's circulating blood throughout your body. This is a great point for relaxation, decreasing stress and anxiety, calming the heart rate, and it also gives extra oomph to all the points that we've already done. Helping them to work better, last longer, all of those things. This point feels really good, so just enjoy it. No, I'm just gonna be like holding this one for a second. Okay, then we're gonna do the second part of this video, which is this is something if you're having any sort of swelling in your body, whether it's arms, legs, anything like that, this is something that you can do up to four times a day. And this is the lymphatic drainage protocol. So this is going to activate the lymphatic system through the nervous system. So sometimes when you have a lot of swelling or things like that, they don't want you to work directly on the lymphatic system or work directly on that area. This is safe to do pretty much under any circumstances. There's no contraindications. You can do it regardless of where you have swelling, if you've had lymph nodes removed or any of those things. So I'm gonna use the side of the magic wand and I'm gonna work back and forth here. This is working the armpits, the lymph nodes of the armpits. So I wanna go back and forth about 10 to 15 times. And I'm not counting, so this might be a lot more than that or less than that, who knows. <laughs> and then other side, and the big thing is you wanna use the same pressure up and down, because you don't wanna adjust the um, blood pressure at all. So up and down, up and down. And then we're gonna go up and down the nose. And this is working the lymphatics throughout the chest and abdomen. Up and down the nose. Again, I'm still using the side of the magic wand. If you don't have a magic wand and you wanna follow around with these videos, I highly recommend it. Um, there are a lot of other facial reflexology detectors on the market, but this one is designed specifically to get into those points that so you can feel it and learn. Next point I'm using going back to the ball end of the magic wand. 
I'm working around the nostrils, and this is activating the lymph nodes of the groin. Particularly if you sit a lot and you have that restriction in movement and flow from the legs to the abdomen, this is a great area to work. Make sure you're also getting up and walking around and moving a little bit so that you can encourage that flow. Okay. And again on the other side. Notice what's happening with your face as you're doing this. Is your face brightening up? You can already see that mine has. My mood has improved. I definitely feel more energized than I did before I got started. So noticing what's happening in your body. A lot of times these things are very subtle. If you don't take time to notice them, you won't even understand like how much help this is doing for you or is doing to you. So going up and down the smile lines here, I'm coming all the way from the nose to the corners of the mouth. And this is activating the lymph nodes in the legs and all the way to the knees. This spot right here actually gets the area in the back of the knees where it's really common for lymph to stagnate. So working that whole way there. And then coming to the other side, same thing. Up and down. This is a great move also for the immune system, boosting the immune system, moving the intestines, and also lubricating your joints. And then we're gonna go across the upper chin, and this is activating the lymph nodes in the feet and the ankles. This one's one that is kind of tender for me. The other ones weren't. So I know that this one needs a little extra love and attention. It's reducing whatever stress is there. And then the final move is working around the ear. So this is how we finish every protocol. So starting at the top of the ear, working down and around. If you can't work around your ear for any reason, if your hair is getting in the way or you're wearing earrings, you can just go up and down that front side of the ear. But it is a little bit better just to get in and work all the way around. If you haven't checked out my website yet, make sure you do that. I do have a free class on there that you can get started with facial reflexology if you're new to this. Um, it is a really cool technique to help you reduce stress and disease in your body. And help yourself to improve your mood, feel better, which of course is going to improve your relationships and your career and your ability to make money and all those cool things. So when you have flow in your body, you have flow in your life. And when you have restrictions and stress in your body, you're going to find the same things happening in your life. So take a moment, check out your face, see how you feel. Just kind of evaluate how things are going. I always feel a lot better after I do a nice facial reflexology routine, and I bet that you do too. I do sell these on my website, so check that out. I'll put the link in the description below. Make sure you like the video and follow my channel. And finally, you can just finish off by giving your ears a little bit of massage. Your ears represent your kidneys, and your kidneys represent your entire nervous system, your brain, your hair, your bones, your spinal cord, all of those things. So give those ears a little massage and I will see you in the next video. Bye.